Good evening. It is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. Welcome to Wildcard Wednesday here on the Big Fat Channel. Uh, I am Christian, otherwise known as the Digital CCH, and we are going to talk a little bit about anything and nothing and somewhere in between. Um, don't have too much of an agenda tonight. Uh, I was planning on trying to... Whoa, let me turn that down a little bit. Was hoping or planning on trying to talk about or watch a little bit of the NASCAR behind me, but I believe that's been um, postponed due to rain over in Darlington. And what else is going on? Uh, had a, another little mini breakthrough at work today. Uh, tried to figure something out and was able to. Just got to see if it's actually going to work with um, some of the business listings we have. Um, of course, as always, um, Politics and the media are absolutely out of control. Um, they they run with any little story they can to try to hurt Trump. Which, again, I don't care if you love him or hate him. I just, um, to me, the way the media handles it, all of it is is the bigger uh, disgrace of it all. I mean, they will do absolutely anything they can to try to hurt him, make him look bad, whatever it is. I mean, it's just it's just absolutely crazy that. Um, all of the things they blame Trump for all these years. He's guilty of this, he's guilty of that. He did this, he's a womanizer, he did this, he's got complaints, blah, 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 blah. As soon as the Democrat gets any of those things le le leveled against them, it's, uh, I don't know, what, what do you mean? Hey, no, it's just Joe being Joe, don't worry about it. So what if he's touchy-feely? It's just Joe being Joe, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Um, you know, all this stuff coming about his uh, Ukraine call and all this other stuff. We'll, we'll see whether Joe makes it through to the, the convention and actually gets the nomination. Um, all these polls saying he's ahead. He's nationwide. He's ahead. He's ahead. How'd that work out for Hillary? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying Trump should sit back and say, don't, you know, we got this. But um, it's, it's incredible to see the media react to, oh, look at this poll. Look, look Trump's getting beat. He's going to get killed. But when, the, when a CNN poll comes out that says... Uh, Biden's trailing Trump. Oh well, that's just what I a poll. It's probably a poor sample size. Well, it's 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 just absolutely insane. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I think the whole all of government they're just dirty. Um, it's I don't think it'll ever change. I mean, Trump's in there trying to clean house, and you can say he's done a good or a bad job or i mean i'm not saying you have to like him i'm just saying he's he's probably doing more to try to clean up government than anyone before him um but people come right back and say he's doing he's done more to dirty up government than anyone before him so um i don't know i don't care i do know or i do think that Biden would not be a good president. So, who, wh he, if he happens to get elected, which I don't think is going to happen, I hope doesn't happen. Um, his, whoever his Veep, uh, you know, running mate is, I think better be ready to pick up that baton real quick. Because um, I don't think Sleepy Joe is going to make it much past, uh, you know, his first 100 days. See if he even gets into into the chair behind that that desk. Um, next January so who knows I know I said I wasn't going to talk politics but th to me this isn't politics this is just about how the media is just out of control talking about nonsense it's absolute nonsense I mean you can say Fox is is, is too far right and I don't disagree but um, you know I think they're more balanced with some of the guests they have on as far as being able to bring the, the, the Democrat, the liberal point of view to a lot of things, but um, I can't even watch some of those other channels because even if they have a, a conservative or a Republican guest on, they just talk over them and you know they don't even let anybody get a point, point, point in. Um, so, who knows? Um, I do think all of this stuff coming out... Um, with all the investigations into Trump, I, I do think that's going to lead to some eye-opening details about what actually happened in 2016, 2017. Um, you know, you got people saying back in 2017, I had no no idea about anything, and now all of a sudden you got emails coming out saying, "Well, I knew about it, but I didn't really know that's what it meant." You know, I I knew what they were talking about. Like, you know, give me a break. They were all in on it. They're all dirty. So. 
who knows um, as you can see uh, I'm changing up some of the lighting here I found a uh, little disco ball light somewhere in the basement this past weekend we were turning on having fun with the kids so got that going on tonight with some music playing trying to keep it light uh, it's Wednesday tomorrow's Thursday obviously um, we got the long weekend coming up with Memorial Day and um, hopefully we'll see what happens maybe Friday we'll get out a little early start the weekend a little early uh, we're hoping on hopefully making a uh, nice shrimp and shrimp and pasta lemon shrimp dinner um, we always love that one and then Saturday we ordered um, from Big Barlow's I think I mentioned that we have our order ready to pick up around 12 15 so we're really excited about that um, I'm just very not nervous not concerned I guess maybe a combination of the two but um, you know just like anywhere summer is always important but especially here at the Jersey Shore like you know you know end of April beginning of May you know, Memorial Day is is that kickoff to summer and none I won't say none a very small portion of our local businesses have been able to get that summer season started they're usually fully open by now um, breaking in all their new hires, training them. So even if they do get to open either last weekend or this coming weekend, they're going to be, you know, working with staff that probably haven't ever ran an order before. So, um, you know, I, I think everyone that does end up going out, either ordering food or going out to restaurants, bars, whatever, um, just give the, the staff, <laughs> just have some patience, give the staff some room to, um, get their legs back under them. That's all I can say about, um, you know, going back out and expecting the same level of service you might have had uh, six months ago at a restaurant. It's, it's just going to be a little different. Your seating arrangements are probably going to be different. Their protocols for how they handle food, drinks, whatever, um, may be a little different. Um, although, it's curious to see how all these restaurants are saying, we're doing all this cleaning now. Every day we do cleaning. We're cleaning, 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 sanitizing, cleaning. Part of me wants to say, well, what the hell were you doing before all this? Not cleaning? Not sanitizing? You know? So, I mean, I'm not too much of a, a germaphobe. I, you know, I, I don't care too much about, you know, fork on a table. I'll, I'll eat with the fork. I don't care. You know, it's, I'm not concerned about what it touched on the table but um you know i think these places that they're they're over glamorizing the fact that they're now cleaning so much and and all these protocols on proper you know food handling and everything that it's it's a little concerning that you're like well what what, what exactly were you doing before this so um i don't know i'm excited to get back out we actually ordered food last night from fusaros um I had it again tonight we usually order enough to have at least um two dinners and maybe a lunch somewhere so uh we we, we spread that um you know that that, that meal cost out over a couple of days because uh, we order like a hundred dollars worth of food and you know we, we spread it out over a couple of days so um that was good to get that ordered last night um making another run to shop right tomorrow so i guess it's been about two weeks um we're averaging about a, just about two weeks i went two weeks ago thursday so i'll go again tomorrow night um Hopefully that'll be the last big bulk run we have to do for a while. Hopefully we can start going back to the, you know, every three or four days, once a week. Um, you know, it seems like everything's, quote-unquote, opening again, but, you know, I still don't know what are the requirements for masks and all that all that stuff. So, um, you know, those gym owners that opened in Belmore, Belmore, whatever, whatever it is, uh, over in Camden County, they got citations. One guy got, um, I guess, arrested after he came out of the gym for standing in a crowd or something. Originally, the, the the state police or sheriffs or whoever they were had said, you know, you're all in violation, but have a good day. And everyone cheered and they left. And I guess later on that they had to come back and say, you're all actually in violation. Please disperse. So I guess the the upper ups filtered the the commands down to the the people on the street and said, go. It'll make them look bad, I guess, right? It's just, it's really crazy that people aren't, aren't, if you don't want to go out, don't go out. Stay in your home. Stay home. If you're going to a place where they're telling you we're taking these precautions and you're okay with that, 
then you should be allowed to go to that place. Um, I don't think every business needs to start having people sign waivers to come into their their facility, but if that's what it comes to and somebody signs the waiver, then you signed a waiver saying I'm not going to sue you if I get sick. So, I mean, that's unfortunately how how much litigation our country does and our society does. Um, you know, maybe that's what it needs to come to. But if, if you choose to go to a place, like everyone chooses to go to Home Depot, everybody chooses to go to Lowe's, Target, Walmart, ShopRite, you know, all the places that are open, you're choosing to go there and you're not implying that you're somehow getting sick because of going there, yet you're saying you can't go to a gym to work out or a coffee shop to get coffee or a small business. I mean, I'm not I'm not jumping on the whole big box versus small business, but in a way I kind of am. Like, why is it okay that, um, you know, big stores like that were allowed to stay open, but small businesses have been told, no, you can't, you know, open and operate and earn a living and pay your employees and pay your mortgage and do all the stuff you need to do that comes from running a business. Um, and don't say, well, the government's just going to hand out more money because there's no more money to hand out. Let's be quite honest. I know the $3 trillion that Nancy laid down was, was, a, was a marker, she said, and let's negotiate from there, but it's, it's just not even rational. Like, there's no rational thought in $3 trillion. It's just, it's absolutely insane. Um, whether that's how, you know, that's the the art of a deal that, that Trump always says, you, you, you start high, you start low, you meet somewhere in the middle, I guess, but we've already doled out two, three trillion, we're going to spend five trillion dollars in six months when the normal budget's only four or five trillion. So I know I said this in another video, but it's really like, where does the money come from? Where does the money, like, think about it. Businesses need to run, you need to generate tax revenue to give to the government use that money to pay for all the stuff they're trying to tell you they're going to use it on. So basically, the $1,200 check you got is really only money you've already given them. You're just getting your money back. So don't think the government is somehow owes you money or is giving you money. They're just giving you your money back. Once you realize that fact that you're getting... The government doesn't make money. They may make, make money on an interest or whatever. I don't know. But the government doesn't generate income. They don't generate revenue. They collect tax revenue. That That's the only way the government makes money. Um, and tariffs and all that other sh stuff that, that Trump says he does from, you know, the imports or whatever. But, um, you know, all the, all the money they, they spend on the military, on health care, and on the homeless, and illegals, and drugs, and Planned Parenthood, and all this other shit, it's your money. So when you say, yeah, let's get another, you know, these senators and these congresspeople are saying, we, sh we, we should put a, you know, a $2,000 a month check in everybody's hands and, until this is over. Until this is over, according to some people, this isn't going to be over until there's a vaccine. And even then, not everybody's going to take the vaccine. So you're, you're, you're definitely fooling yourself if you think that, um, you know, that's the right path. I, I think anybody that's working shouldn't get the check. I mean, I, I, I got I got a check and I'm, I'm happy to have gotten it, but I'm still working. So why I don't know why I got a check. And the whole unemployment thing, the way that's set up, and I'm glad um, Mnuchin came out and said what he said the other, yesterday, is that if you're offered your job back and you don't take it, you can't collect unemployment anymore. I, I think that's a fair statement. I honestly do. Because you're getting unemployment because you were laid off for a little, not for a little, you were laid off or fired or whatever. So you have the right to collect unemployment. But if your job is basically, your boss, your, your company is basically telling you, here, we're, you can have your job back, you should go back to take, you know, getting your job and not keep unemployment. Now, if you can level some kind of actual argument that says, I don't feel safe coming back to my job, I don't know what the, the legalities of that argument might be, but... Um, if, if your job is saying, we are open, your job is ready for you to come back to, if you don't go back to it and they give it to somebody else, you're kind of shit out of luck. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So, we're going on uh, close to 15 minutes now. Uh, I've probably babbled on long enough. Um, 
like I said, wild card Wednesday, a little bit of everything. Um, I didn't really have much of a plan or agenda, just kind of whatever came in my big head uh, is what came out. So, um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell me I sucked ass. Beyond that, we'll see you tomorrow.